A drug entering the human body via an IV has to cover approximately 2.2 meters. Okay, so let's draw this out. Okay, so this is our IV. Okay, and here is our tube. And this entire distance is 2.2 meters. Originally, the drug accelerates downward at 1.5 meters per second for only 0.5 seconds. Afterward, the drug continues to fall at a constant speed. Okay, so two things are happening here. So from here, when we start, okay, so we'll assume that initially our speed is 0 meters per second. And from that point, okay, until some point along here, okay, we're accelerating, and our acceleration is 1.5 meters per second squared. And that happens only for 0.5 seconds. And afterwards, so from that point to the end, we're going to go at a constant speed. So we have two regions here, region 1 and region 2. Okay, so for region 1, I'm going to so divide this up, and here's going to be region 2. So for region 1, I know that initially, okay, I start at 0 meters per second, okay, I accelerate for 1.5 meters per second squared and I know that my time during this region, so region 1, so that's why I'll call it 1, is 0 0.5 seconds. Now what I don't know is what happens in region 2. The only thing that I know is that my speed is constant. So from here all the way along my speed is constant so V here is constant that's all I know now I can obtain this V because I can find out what the actual speed is at this point by using the VF equation that we have so I'm gonna use that in just a second. Okay, so here I'm going to write down Vf is equal to and use our equations of Vi plus At to obtain this. So I'll come back to this because that's a speed that I know I can obtain because I know initially what happens, I know that I'm accelerating and I know for how long I'm accelerating for. So I have all of these variables. Now coming back to here what I need to do is, at the end, what I want is, I want to know, so if you're reading the question, it says that we want to find out how long would it take for the drug to enter the human body. So I want to know the total time, okay, so I want to know the total time that it takes from region 1, so from region 1 and region 2, because then I'm going to end up right here at the end. T1 I already have right there and T2 is something that I'm going to have to find. Before I can find T2 I have to do a little bit of work. First of all when you come back here I have to figure this out. I only know the total distance from top to bottom. I don't know the distance from here to here and from here to here but using our equations so our distance d1, which is this distance right here, I know that I can use vi t plus one half a t squared. I have all of this. This is zero because initially my speed is zero. And this I can substitute, which is 1.5 and 0 0.5 squared. Now that comes out to when you do the calculation to 0 0.0 whoops sorry 0 0.1875 
meters. So now what I have is I have this distance right here. I know my total distance is 2.2 meters. So if I know this distance and I know my total, then I can take the total, subtract this distance, and I'll find out what the distance is here. Okay, this D2. If I do that, so I have 2.2 minus 0.1875 this is all in meters, equals to 2.0125 meters. So that is my distance right here, which I will call D2. Okay, so D2 is right here, and D1 is right here. And I know that D1 plus D2 is equal to 2.2. Okay, so I have my distance, which is what I wanted to do. Okay, now the next thing what I want is I want to figure out what this speed is. Now, why are we doing this? Overall, remember what we want is T2. Okay, in order to find T2, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to use in this second region okay because there's no more acceleration this equation meaning d2 which is the total distance times my speed which I will find from here okay so that's what I'm gonna get from there and then this is just t2 so if I have d2 which I have already remember this is 2 0 1 Two five VF, okay, I can obtain from here. This is zero plus one point five times zero point five, which is equal to zero point seven five meters per second. Now this I can substitute in here and I can solve for T two and T2 is equal to 2.0125 divided by 0 0.75 which is going to give me 2.68 seconds so therefore T total remember that's right here is T1 which is 0 0.5 plus 2.68 which equals to 3.18 seconds done you can review this question as many times as you like if you have concerns let me know take care